Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Brex Tutorial. This is the continuation to my previous videos. I have, as of now, uh, I have uploaded two videos. One was Introduction to Rex, where we have seen what is Rex and what are the advantages of Rex in Mainframe. And we have seen uh, a sample program using Rex uh, or by connecting to the mainframe terminal and we have also seen different ways of executing this Rex in these two videos now this video is continuation to the previous one so here I'm going to explain you about what are terminal input and output commands. so this is very very important these are the starting statements which we need to know when you are learning a Rex so we have two statements which we are which we will be using regularly when you are working with the Rex. So what is say and what is pull? Say is a terminal output statement and pull is a terminal input statement. So using say we display a statement or we display a result store inside the variables or a simply a statement you want to display. Pull is nothing but where we declare a variable and with the, the what that variable do is it will accept the data from the console or from any program and store the data into that variables so these variable can be displayed by using statements a say can display either a statements or a, a variables data okay in the same way pull can accept the data from the console and store it into your variables so now we are going to see how do we how to work this by connecting to the mainframe terminal so let me connect to the mainframe terminal and show you so how to do this okay so okay so okay so anyhow uh, you're, you're, as you already know like we have to create a separate PDS member and PDS uh, data set and inside the PDS data sets you have to create a member uh, so it should always the member should always be a 80, 80 length the member so it will the statement should always start with slash star and rex so say is a statement to display any statement so enter your name so pull is to accept the data and stored in the variable so name is a variable name so where we are trying to accept it so say then after accepting just I wanted to display the name what whatever the data is stored inside this name variable just I wanted to display it so how do you display it you you display it by using a say, say statement so now save your program and go to start so so what you need to do is, uh, so you have to, uh, sorry, okay. So what you have to give do is you have to give TSO exec and the entire path and followed by the program name. Okay, just press enter. So here I'm entering it as Kumar. Okay, then it will display you entered your name as Kumar so if you have missed my previous video so I mean where in my previous video I was explained everything like what are the different ways of executing this Rex code so you can do practice you can try the same code in a different ways either using option 6 or using a command line or using a batch project batch JCL so there are different ways of running this code so you can do practice okay so with this I want to end this video I would be coming up uh, I will be coming up with more and more videos if you like this video kindly please subscribe share or comment on my youtube channel I hope you got some information about the Rex so thank you and have a great and pleasureful day